Hello students, this is Mrs K. Okay, so what we're ready to do today is the um, step two for our IMAS investigation called Score a Duck. Now, step two can be found on this page. We can see here we've got all the materials listed across the top that we're going to need eventually. And here we say step two, and step two says, what is a duck game? What is a duck game? That's the first thing you're going to have to do is work out what a duck game is. Make sure you really understand this idea of a duck game. This is a great time to get your home tutor involved, to have a chat to everyone in the family, to talk to the neighbours, to talk to the grandparents, to talk to anyone that you can talk to and find out what they think. And they perhaps you can read that page together, have a little bit of a, a, a conversation about what it's saying, make sure that you're really, really understanding what happens in the duck game. Okay, and you know what? One of the best things you can do quite often when you want to understand something like this is have a go at it. See how it works. You know, you could have a little pretend thing at home. You could say, okay, I've got four shelves here. I'm going to put the biggest teddy bear I've got right here on this shelf. I'm going to put the next size thing, the next size thing, and the, the pretty boring kind of prize down the bottom. So, you know, something pretty wonderful at the top, something pretty terrible at the bottom. Okay, but remember that you're the operator of the game. So um, you don't want everyone to win a prize. So you don't want everyone to win the best prize because if they win the best prize, you won't have any money left. It costs a lot of money to buy those really good prizes. And you want to make Make money, not lose money. Okay, so that's what you need to do in order to make sure that you understand the duck game. Now, the other thing I'd do, you could get something like, oh, I don't know, like your Lego or something like that, right? And underneath, you know, say Duplo pieces, maybe something a bit bigger or wooden blocks, whatever, um, just using something like that, put a different number underneath each one, make up a little scoreboard and kind of act it out a little bit so you really understand what the duck game is and what it looks like. Now, you're not solving the problem at this point. You're not trying to get a perfect answer. You're just playing around with the idea a bit so that you really understand what happens in the duck game. Okay, now it's probably, you probably can't really use a fishing implement and pick them up and all that because that's just getting, you know, you don't want to make this something that goes on and on forever. You've only got, say, maybe you've got half an hour to just set it up and have a go at it and try it out and understand what happens in the duck game. But you're probably not going to use water for this part. You're not going to actually have a five metre by five metre space to work in. You're just going to have a really little pretend try out. So what are you doing? When you do all of that, you're using our problem solving strategy of acting out the problem. So you're just acting it out just a little bit. Okay, this is just to get a little bit of an understanding going on what actually happens inside um, a duck game or what happens if you're the person running it. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of an idea by trying it out, having a chat to everyone, get the ideas flowing, get a bit of understanding of what goes on, but don't solve the whole problem today. Goodness gracious, you've got another couple of weeks up your sleeve after this one to solve this problem. So let's not get the whole thing sorted. Let's just have a bit of a play around today. Do you think you can do that? I'm sure you can. Okay, talk soon. Bye-bye.